Hello everybody, welcome back to Plan With B. It's Berlin here with a tutorial today on how you can print on sticky notes. So I obviously love using printable sticky notes. They are always throughout my planner and I've talked about them so many times in the past. You can see them throughout my planner. Whenever I do planner flips, they're everywhere. I absolutely love using printable sticky notes because they don't take up much space. You can stick them anywhere you want and it just adds layers into your planner. I keep so many on me. I have a little stack here in the pocket and I have tons more. So you can see, I just like to keep random ones on me that I might need at any point in time. Using printable sticky notes allows me to not use a full insert for everything, things that I don't need to use a full insert for. For example, if I wanted to, I could on my weekly spread use a printable sticky note that is for meal planning or workouts so that I don't have to use a full insert and I could just keep track using a sticky note. I absolutely love not only pretty sticky notes that you can print just for an add of color and design, but definitely very, very functional and productive sticky notes. This one here is actually one of my favorites. My daughter and I go to the library so much that I use these library book sticky notes to keep track of how many books that we have checked out of the library and when I have to bring them back. This is just one of the many that are available in my Etsy shop if you're interested in checking them out. Whether you are creating your own printable sticky notes, purchasing them from the amazing Etsy shops that you find and other websites who sell them, or if you find free ones on blogs or Pinterest, knowing how to print them can be a little bit tricky. So I am here to help you guys today to show you the easy way how to print on sticky notes to add to your planner. Now lots of shops carry these and you can also find some freebie ones as well on Pinterest and other blog sites. Here on my Etsy shop, I'm just showing you the options that I have. So let's say that you wanted to get this one here, which is the rustic foliage you would purchase this and then you would get a digital download and I'm going to show you what that digital download is going to look like once you open up your digital download which I highly suggest doing in Adobe Acrobat Reader you're going to get a template that looks like this with three by three sticky note squares on it as well as the actual template itself for the design so here you have all of the foliage designs and then this is your template. So there's two different versions on how you can do this. What you're going to do is first print out your template. So you're just gonna go up here to print. And you wanna make sure that your settings in your printer are set up so that this full page is going to fit in here. So I'm gonna to go to fit. So now you can see this entire page is in here and keep the orientation on auto. And then you're just going to select print. As you guys can see, my template just printed and you can see right here on it, it shows where the top is. So I'm going to go ahead now and actually put the sticky notes on. You guys can use any of your favorite three by three sticky notes. I do highly suggest that you use one that actually sticks well because if it does not, it could get loose in the printer and jam. So what I'm going to do is just follow these instructions and line up the top of the sticky note right with that top line there and you're going to be covering the box so i'm going to go ahead and just put all these on here i'm just using a green colored post-it sticky note just to show where i'm laying it usually i would do this on a white sticky note those are my favorites okay so you, as you guys can see i have all six individual sticky notes on here right on top of the template and now we're going to go ahead and run this back through the printer to print the design on it it's very important that you know how your printer works so that you put these in correctly. You wanna make sure that the design is going to print on the side with the sticky notes. And it's very important that you put the sticky sides in first. So because the stickiness is up here at the top, I'm gonna to face this down because in my printer, that's how it's going to print out. And you don't wanna do it the opposite way because if you do, where it lifts is going to get jammed in your printer. So you want the side that is stuck down to be the side that's going to come out of the other end of your printer. Now, once you have gone and printed your template and have stuck your sticky notes to the template, you're going to go ahead and print out whatever one that you prefer to go on the sticky notes. So I'm just going to do this one. So I'm gonna go back up to file, print, 
And since I'm not printing all the pages, I'm just going to select current because I just want this one page for now. And I'm going to make sure it's on fit. And again, the orientation as auto. And then I'm going to select print. So as you can see, they just got done printing. So I'm just going to give you a close up here so that you can see the design on there. And just for reference, I am using the Epson EcoTank ET2720 printer. I love this printer so much. The ink lasts so, so long and it is so inexpensive for the ink compared to buying cartridges for a standard printer. I just absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and peel some of these off just so that you can see what it looks like. So once I peel it off the template here, you can see. I have a beautiful sticky note to use in my planner or my notebook. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the second version of how to print these, which is the version that I typically do. So let's get into the that. version of how I'm going to print printable sticky notes. Um, I am not gonna use this template. So I personally like to do this version better than using the template. The template works great as you just saw, but I just like getting things a little bit more precise. So to do that, I am actually going to just take this take a note template here. This is the design that I want to print. But instead of printing a template first, I'm just going to print this and use it as my template. So I'm going to go up here to file, print. Again, make sure that you have it on fit. Make sure it's on auto orientation. And make sure if there's multi pages in the PDF that you select the page that you want to print so that you don't end up printing a ton of pages that you didn't want. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click print. Sorry if you guys can hear the trucks outside, they're salting, salting the roads. So here, instead of printing the template, I just went and printed the design right on paper, and I'm going to use this as my template. The reason why I like doing this is because you can get more precision with your sticky note, especially if you're using something that's not a three by three square sticky note like this. If you're using like a round sticky note or some other fun shapes that you wanna give a try, um, this kind of will allow you to really see where the design is going to print direct on your sticky note. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put the sticky notes right over top of the design on here. So now I have all the sticky notes on here, and if you hold it up to the light, you can actually see right through it. You can see exactly where that design is going to print right onto the sticky note. So that's why I like doing it this way. And I'm going to show you what you can do with this page after you take off your sticky notes. So now to print the actual design right on top of the sticky note, we're going to go right back into the design template that you're choosing. Go to File, Print, and we're just going to print this again, just so that it prints right over top of the sticky notes this time. As you can see, I have the lifted end as the part that's in the back so that as it goes through, it does not get jammed. Just want to stress that because if you put it through the opposite way, it will get jammed inside of your printer and you're going to have a mess. So now I have some take a note printable sticky notes here printed right on to these and you can see that because I knew exactly where to place the sticky note over top of the design that it was pretty centered. I um, kind of rushed here at the bottom which is why it's like over to the side here so that is why I like printing right on to the um, design itself just so that you can see that better. And you can obviously just keep reusing this as your template, this bottom page here you could keep reusing or the actual template that you printed out with the blank boxes. But I'm gonna show you what you can do. If you don't wanna print on actual sticky notes, you can still print these sheets and use them. So I just went through and took all of these off and you can see that I have a little stack of sticky notes here that I can use in my planner. I also want to mention that 
you can see how this fits onto a three by three sticky. If you want it to fill in a little bit more and go closer to the edges, you can do that. You would have to increase the percentage of the page and you have to kind of play around with it, but you have to make sure that if you're doing that, that you increase the percentage of the template and then you increase the percentage of the actual design. You wanna make sure that they're exactly the same, otherwise they'll be unaligned. Now I wanna show you guys what you can do if you just wanna print them right on paper. So here I have the template and instead of wasting this, I'm going to actually trim this and I'm going to leave some edge to the left hand side so that I can hole punch them and use it as a little tiny insert to kind of layer in my planner. Okay, so I just got done trimming these and just hole punching them. As you can see, I left space to the left hand side of each of them to have room to hole punch. You can also trim these completely and then you could just use like an ollie clip and pin it into your planner. So if I wanted to, I could just put some right underneath of my ollie clip or how I have it here. I'm just gonna go ahead to a page in here and I'm going to just pop this in. I slit that so I can easily put it in and out just like I do with my inserts. It's hard to do while I'm holding the camera. But you can see now I have a layered little additional sticky note in here that I can use to take a note or whatever the template would be. I have tons of designs in my Etsy shop. Very, very useful, productive planning style ones. So if you guys are interested in those. But yeah, I absolutely love that. You could put like, you know, a little meal planning one on your weekly spread. You can put a monthly one, like if you wanted to put a monthly one over on like your monthly spread, like to have a mini calendar or something. There's just so many options and it just adds a layer to your planner. It doesn't block your page completely and it's just fun. I absolutely love printable sticky notes. As you guys can see, they're always through my planner all the time. I hope that this video was helpful and informative to you and has helped you learn how you can print on sticky notes. Hope you all have an amazing day. Bye, guys. Subscribe if you like this video, everybody. Goodbye.